everybody. Hi there. Welcome to $10 Quilt Club for October 2021. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, I'm Shannon. And I am Cynthia. And we are happy to be here today. We hope yeah. everyone had a lovely Thanksgiving. It was a good weekend, wasn't it? It was a busy it, weekend. Busy. Yeah, it was. I seem to spend more time driving, I think, mm, than anything else. Truth. I've yeah. still got one who needs to be picked up, so... But it was it was good, and we even managed a little walk in between rain showers and all that. Fantastic. We um, we didn't walk. <laughs> we're too busy eating. I too think. busy eating. Yeah, we, and we were low, low key. I mean, we were still somewhat recovering. My daughter got married not Thanksgiving weekend, the weekend previous to that. So that was super a big to do. <laughs> yeah, it was a really great wedding. Everything went perfectly. Couldn't have asked for better. We couldn't have asked for better weather. The weather was yeah, wonderful. Better. Absolutely. So. Anyways, anyway, without further ado, we will go over a few business. things. Some housekeeping, I think, um, for ten dollar quilt. You know sorry, blocks? quilt club. I um, excuse me. Yep, I'll go get the blocks. gonna go get the blocks. We've got the blocks to show you. They're complete. Um, we wanted to let you know that they are on the website. If you go to our website, um, countryconcessions.com, and go to the the quilt club tab and then you'll see the video that you're watching probably right now at the top but underneath of that it says view more and there's a lot of um the, all the blocks are in there and there might be a few more resources as well and then um i just want to point out again i'm going to bring this closer that the pattern you guys are doing the um honeymoon for grandmother's sampler quilt you're not following the top chart you're following the middle or the second chart so this is the one that you're working from to cut out your pieces and we always also want to remind you to measure oh, three times and with cut one too i can take one of them if you'd like okay coming a little closer here to show you the blocks there is the woodland block just these are gorgeous this month they are nice beautiful this is the mint and this is blush as i said though those will be on the website and you can start um, coming to pick up your quilt club blocks tomorrow wednesday the uh 13th or something <laughs> i have no idea what it's, date it is it's some date yeah the middle of the month wednesday uh second wednesday of the month yeah. make sure that you have your homework from last month done okay mm -hmm. and the... you'll also need a secret word no it's kind of a secret word you have to tell the ladies at the front a knock knock joke oh you're <laughs> full of good ideas I know. and i do enjoy it because so you'll be Eddie. entertaining our staff for exactly. the rest of the month and we'll be listening to you to hear all of the great knock knock jokes we should break them all down Oh, maybe yeah. there's some good ones, yes. And you can't, if you come with someone else, you can't repeat the joke that they told. So everyone has to have their own original knock-knock joke. Although, they don't have to be completely original, just not with who you're picking up your block with. Okay. Shannon has all sorts of good ideas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so without further ado, we'll talk okay. about our products for this month. Oh, I guess we could also tell you, uh, we'll keep the, the code to the end. Okay. The uh, shopping code for online. I'm going uh, to mention one thing. Yes. We are having a new shop hop Ooh. for those of you who have yeah. not uh, got seen that particular email. We will be sending another email. The shop hop is called the Lake Loop Shop Hop. So it's a loop around Lake Simcoe. We're pretty excited about it. Awesome. Uh, it includes five stores, ourselves, Hummingbird um, Swing Center in Barry, Thimbles and Things in Aurelia, the Quilting Gnome in Jackson's Point, and the Quilt Store in Newmarket. So you're just going a nice circle around the lake. Um, hopefully there'll still be some color around the trees. We never know, but it'll still be a lovely drive through the country. Um, we are going to be holding it October 28th, 29th, and 30th. And um, at each of the stores, you'll have an opportunity to buy a fabric kit, including a portion of the fabric you need to make a quilt, which is called Cream and Sugar. And you can, it's on our website, I think. I think so. Um, but we will be sending another email. And um, if you prefer to just do the trip, then you will still be have the opportunity to enter for the, our grand prizes, which are five prizes of 20 meters of free fabric. So it doesn't get much better than that. It doesn't. We had a lady that uh, won 20 meters yeah. from us one other time. I think she's finally used it, but I, I think she enjoyed using it too. She kind of hung she on to little, it for a little long bits time. Yeah, time and so yeah, it was a lot of fun. It would be a lot of fun. Okay. Okay. Today I'm talking about, <coughs> excuse me, quilt as you go projects. We have some placemats and some totes here and they're all pretty fantastic. The first one I'll tell you about is a placemat. It's uh, by Annie. Well, Annie does a lot of bags and totes and all sorts of different things. She's a fabulous pattern author and she mm -hmm. has a website that has all sorts of videos and 
it'll help you give you extra little tips and tricks, particularly with some of her bags, but even with the placemat, there's a, a video for that and you can check that out. Um, this is called Easy Quilty Should Go Placemat. So this is the finished product. I'll show you that. It's a very, very simple project to do. It's just strips and as I said, you're quilting as you go. So it is so, so easy. What you need in order to do that is foam. Can I help at all? Not yet. Okay. Thank you. Standing by. This is soft and stable foam and it comes in a four pack. So you get four placemats and inside the four pack is the pattern. And that's the only way the pattern is available is with the placemats. We had to get them that way too. We yes. wanted the pattern and couldn't get it. I had to get the placemats. So you start off with a 13 and a half by 18 and a half, I believe, piece of foam. And it is super, super simple. Maybe you could hold that for me now. You measure into the center of it. You draw lines. I didn't draw the lines on this one. And you place your fabric on top of that, right side up. Sorry. Then you start, as I said, just stitching and flipping. So you line that up right sides together. You run a quarter inch seam down there and flip that open and it's just going to go like that. And then you go to the other side, do the same stitch and flip and you just keep building and building. Once you get the whole thing built, you put the backing on and you just bring it around to the front. So it is super easy. Wow. It was maybe half an hour to make it at that. It didn't take very long at all. And as I said, it's a, they're a nice great, too. Quick, yeah. quick and easy placemat to do. And they're nice and sturdy with the foam. They've got some body to them and they wash up wonderfully as well. So the four pack of the soft and stable placemat forms is $26.99. And you can find that in the store or online. And not a huge amount of fabric no, either. No, not at all. It was a, it was a really good project. I'm going to move these out. The right. next guy we have is a, a Quilt As You Go is June Taylor. She's known for her Quilt As You Go. And this is an insulated lunchbox. I'll bring it closer so you can see. And it says it's a skill level of easy. It has a zipper in it, but the zipper is what she calls a zippity doo da, I believe. Yes, a zippity doo done zipper is what's inside of this. <laughs> Is that what these I don't know. So the zipper just gets sewn right on top of it. You can run a decorative stitch down there if you want, but it, you're not putting it between fabric or anything like that. It just goes on so quick and so easy. The inside seams are all finished. You get a little plastic piece to put in the bottom. There's enough fabric to line that. And as you can see, once I tuck that back in, the seams are all finished. So there's no loose ends or anything like that. And it is insulated. It's got the um, Oh, it's so bright. bright in it, so it'll keep it hot or it'll keep it cold. And it has webbing in the handles, I believe. So each kit comes with a zippity do done zipper, as well as some webbing to put in your handle. So you're covering the webbing. And we have four different colors of zippers. We've got black. We have, I'll just take my word for it, gray, navy, and white. So we've got four different colors. And then you choose your fabric. They've got some really cute stuff that they've used here. And we kind of like what we use here. So it just depends what you want to do. You may need new fabric. You might have some in your stash. But this is a great little lunch bag. And it makes a good gift too, I would say. The next one we have is a kit that is called... It's a quilt as you go. And it's actually a sew by number pattern printed on batting. It's another June Taylor project. It also comes with webbing and you end up covering the webbing. And this is the finished product. It is a really nice tote bag. The handles are nice and sturdy. It's got a fairly thick batting in it. So it's got some body and firmness to it. And all you do, as it mentions, is you quilt um, by number. So you put your first strip on piece one, labeled one, and then you add piece two and piece three and you go and you build on the batting the entire time. <clears throat> Excuse me, when you're done, your bag is quilted and ready to go. The seams are all beautifully finished and it's really quite nice. It's got, as I said, a nice weight to it and it looks fantastic. Those kits are $27.99 and I don't remember if I told you the lunch bag price, but they are $39.99. That's your 20%. That's your 20%, of course. And in order to get your 20%, you need to simply use the code PUMPKIN20. And I will now turn it over to my friend Cynthia. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay, I have an awesome new creative grids ruler to share with you. Um, this is like all creative grids rulers in that it has the grippy system on the back of the ruler that lets you slide it around easily. 
but when you put pressure on the ruler to do your cutting, these little grippers on the back really cling to the fabric and um, stabilize the ruler. So it's very small. Favorite grippy ruler. Oh, these these are just awesome. Now this ruler is one of those rulers that you keep. And there's more. And there's more. <laughs> it's it a sham wow. Is, it is a sham wow. <laughs> it is not a one trick pony. It's just an awesome ruler um, that you'll use in all sorts of different projects for making all sorts of different units to go within your your quilting. Um, as with all the rulers, it comes with a great sheet of instructions that shows you all sorts of different things here. Um, I'm just gonna come a little bit closer just to show you the types of units that it does make. Just on here, you can see all these different types of units that it will help you make. And the ruler itself is $38.99, less your 20% discount. But like I say, you're going to use it over and over. This is the second uh, rendition of the Folded Corner Clipper Ruler. This is the folder, Folded Corner Clipper XL. They previously had a smaller ruler. This one allows you to make units between 1 inch and 10 inches. The previous ruler was between one and five. So this one's nice because it'll do all those small units, but also will do larger units as well. And basically what this lets you do is add on corners onto existing units um, that you're then to, to fancy them up, and then you're gonna incorporate them in your quilting. So the um, I'll just show you sort of the main premise. So to begin with, we can take a rectangle, a square, whatever you want of any size, and you're going to be adding another unit on top. So in this case, we're going to be adding on a triangle. So you're going to be adding on a triangle on one corner of that rectangle. So typically you would put it in position, you draw a line from corner to corner, which would be your stitching line, and then you trim off that excess. In the case when we're using the corner clipper, we're gonna take off the corner before we start, hence clipping the corner. So we're gonna line this up. This is a five inch uh, rectangle. So I'm gonna line up my five inch line on my ruler and there's a little um, square off marking at the edge here. So I just line that up with the corner and that allows me to trim off this corner piece of my unit before I um, mark it or sew it. So I end up with a unit that looks like this. I've trimmed this off ahead of time and then I've sewn the quarter inch seam, quarter inch away. We've got the dog ears removed so it's nice and smooth, lines up perfectly and when I press that open I've got a perfect rectangle with that extra accent color added on. So it's just awesome. When I add on more corners, I can make other more interesting units that will end up looking like this. So this is the rectangle with four corners added on, all using my corner clipper. So to begin with, I'm going to take my rectangle, and I'm sorry I chose gray, it was very badly planned, and I'm going to add on, let me start with this guy, going to add on this corner here. I presume they tell you what size, okay, I'm gonna, your pattern will tell you what your size. Your pattern tells you what size of units you're going to be cutting and what your try, what size your little squares need to be. So I have to remember I'm going to be taking off this corner here. So I'm going to be lining, sorry, lining this up. This is a two and three quarter inch square, which is what it told me to add. I'm going to be taking off that corner. Again, we've got the engineered corners on both edges, so we're taking off the dog ears, and I'm gonna take off that corner. So when I do that, I've cut this, trimmed off the corner, sewn my quarter inch seam, and then when I press that open, you can see that I've got my first accent square added on. To do the second one, I'm gonna take the corner again, add on my square, get my nice little ruler and I'm going to be taking the outside corner off all the time. So I line that up again with the two and three quarter inch square, take off that corner, sew the quarter inch seam. And that would leave you with, uh, and then when I press to, that open. To make half square triangles. Exactly. Yeah. That's one more thing it does. And there's more, right? 
So when I do all four of these, you can see I've added them on one at a time, but it gives me that wonderful elongated hexagon kind mm. of shape. You could make a regular hexagon if this is smaller. Um, so adding these on to all sorts of different units, you can add it on to blocks and build square into square. Um, you can make half square triangles. You can make this into sashing and then you're gonna have star points in your sashing. When you look at it like this, realize what you've got here is a flying goose. So you can make flying geese blocks too. You can make all sorts of different shapes. And it is so clever. Really good. A lot of times patterns, and I find this often, ask you to put, you know, like a triangle on the mm -hmm. corner, but you could and you don't to need cut to. Them. No. You just cut them. Mm. So using that particular shape, I'm going to show you one of our projects here. This is called. Easy Street Crib, crib you, Quilt. Because I couldn't remember. That's okay. That's Easy Street for. Crib Quilt. And you can see that all these blocks are that elongated hexagon with the corner um, triangles added on. We've got all sorts of fun fabrics, little rainbows, little bumblebees, uh, polka, polka dots. dots. So this is a great <clears throat> quilt for a kid, but you could use any fabric and it's a wonderful quilt for, for a child, for a baby, for a lap quilt on the sofa, whatever you like. You'll notice. Um, the trim, yes. Where I've trimmed off all the triangles, you don't throw those away, you reuse those in your border. So these are actually half square triangles made using the corner clipper tool. Um, and using up the trimmed off pieces from your from your other unit. So it's a very, very clever pattern. It is. So we have made <clears throat> kits for this one. This is the Easy Street Crib Quilt. And it's done up with that fabric, all our little fun fabrics. And that kit is $74.99, less your 20%. There is also um, two patterns. One is the Easy Street Crib Quilt. <laughs> Excuse me. So there's the Easy Street Crib Quilt, and here is the Easy Street Runner. Exactly the same pattern, but smaller, so it's it's just a great runner. You could also use this for making placemats. Oh, totally. So lots of different options. These are both just $4.99. Okay, so that's the first things I want to show you. And the next thing I'm going to show you is how you can quickly and easily make binding using this um, trim tool. So when you're making your binding, you've got strips and strips and strips of two and a half inches or two and a quarter inches, whichever you prefer to cut. You're going to stack up your strips right side to wrong side. So not what you'd expect. Or right side up, all of them. All of them right side up. Hope that will stay on there. So I'm gonna line them up like that. And you can line up as many layers as you want. I've just put two here, but you could do as many as you like. And you're going to take your um, corner clipper and you're going to line it up. Mine's a two and a half inch strip. So I'm gonna line up my two and a half inch line along the edge, the little um, cut off dog ear at the end here. And I'm going to take off that upper corner. Once I've done that, my pieces look like this. I've got two pieces that I've stacked up, right sides um, all facing up. Take off the corner, and then I'm going to take that second piece off. And you can see when I sew those together, it's gonna to line up perfectly. What I'm gonna do is flip that down in a 90 degree angle, but your edges will line up perfectly because you've taken off the corners. Sew that in a quarter inch seam, press it open, I think I see Uncle Bob showing up here. And <laughs> Bob's your uncle, exactly. It is absolutely perfect. It lines up absolutely smoothly. When you press it, there's no extra trimming or anything else, no stretching, and it's just beautiful. So I say you can stack up all those strips and layer them up and trim them all at once. You can also use... It's a good ruler. There's more. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay. Um, the same way we do the binding, we can also use it to um, piece border strips together. So even if you have a, a six inch piece of fabric that you're using for a border, you can still stack them, right sides all facing up, trim it off, and then join them together exactly the same method. 
If, however, we want to use it to make mitered corners, so you want to put a mitered border or a sashing on your quilt. So that could go up to 10 inches then. You your could go up to 10 your, inches, okay. yeah. Because it'll do up to 10 inches, yeah, well, which is well. pretty impressive. Um, so if we want to do mitering, we're going to put the fabric right sides together. And then we're going to use our trim tool. This is a five inch strip. So I'm going to take my five inch marking, line it up here, line up the corner and trim that off. Keep those spare pieces for your half square triangles. And you will end up there. It's been right sides together. Sorry, I should have. So I've trimmed that off on my angle. And then when I open that up, there is my, I just made a nice short one so you can see my mitered corner at each end. And then when I cut my second piece, doing exactly the same thing, open it up and it will allow me to position that like that. So to put those together, I'm just going to stack those two, so a quarter inch seam. And then when I press it open, I'll have that, awesome. that perfect miter corner. Because mitering corners is not so a fun thing So another to do. wonderful thing that it will do for you. Um, and I got, last thing I'm going to show you, we have another project. This is Love called this the one. Hexi Imposter, Hexi Imposter Runner. So this awesome. is a table runner. It's fabulous and it's so easy to make. So you can see there's a whole bunch of half hexes here and there you join those end to end and make the strip and then you sew all the strips together. So to make the hexes is real easy. Last one. So I'm going to take, I've got two and a half inch by six and a half inch strips mm -hmm. and I'm going to take the two upper corners off using my ruler. So I'm just going to line that up the same way, take off that corner and then to do this side I Am I doing that right? I have to go this way. Yep, that way. Okay, line that up. And again, take off that corner. And I end up with pieces that look like this. So there's a dark and a light. And to sew those together, you're just doing it the same way you did your binding strips. And then I just line those up like that. And they get sewn together and then make a strip like that. So when I join a whole bunch of these together, lights and darks, this is the start of my Hexi Imposter Runner. So I just line these up in a row, make a second row, join those together, and build it up just as big as you want. And so I, you, you don't have to use a background either. Yeah. I don't think you could just use random fabric. You could just, just use a, random a bundle colors, with yeah. two and a half inch strip pack. You could make so it's, it's a really cool. fun pattern. We've like got that. a kit for that one as well. This is the Hexi Imposter Table Runner, includes the pattern. And all your gray fabrics there, the size is 16 by 42 inches and it's $44.99, uh, less your 20%. And the last sample I'm going to show you, we've done this in Christmas fabrics. This is a pattern called Begonia. And this is all done with the clipper corner ruler. And um, it's cute. Yeah, it's, it's nice really pattern. cute. So you're using the corner clipper here and then these units here, you've added on extra, um, the extra squares of fabric in the corners. So really, really cute. That one we just have a pattern for. And it is right here. This is called Begonia. And again, that is $4.99 for just the patterns. And that is That's the everything. wonders of the folded corner clipper XL Excuse me, sorry, I got the hiccups. <laughs> too, too exciting. Yeah. So, so that's one you won't want to live without. Absolutely not. So you can come start to see us or you can start to come see us as of tomorrow, which is Wednesday the... I'm sure it's October 13th. 13th. I know it's October Wednesday 13th. Wednesday the 13th. And make sure you bring your block. Make sure... You come with a knock-knock joke. You come with a knock-knock joke and make sure you have fun. Yeah. And we will see you soon. Thanks for yeah. joining Take us. Care, Take, Take care, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.